The temperance movement aroused around the 1820s. Its main goal was to eliminate alcohol abuse. Reason behind, alcohol led to crime, poverty, and abuse of family. It was led by the American Temperance Union and other religious leaders. Alcohol abuse was widespread in the West amongst urban workers. Employers would pay part of their salary slash wages with alcohol. Some wanted people to drink less alcohol while others wanted it completely banned. Alcohol was viewed as a bad for society. By 1857, many, state, many states passed prohibition laws and also many Americans protested. The abolition of slavery. Over 2.5 million enslaved people lived in the South. The North wanted the South to ban slavery. The South refused and started to get upset and they feared they would lose slavery. The North and the South become very defensive and started despising each other a lot. This leads to a civil war. The threat of loss of slavery made the South begin to think about a split presidency. I am Horace Mann. I want education to be available for more children. There are too few areas that have public schools that are paid by taxes. The wealthy pay to send their kids to expensive private schools or to tired tutors. These leads, they represent the fallen children that the education system has failed. I want to become an education supervisor of Massachusetts. Citizens will vote to pay taxes, to build better schools, to pay teachers higher salaries, and to establish special training for the teachers. I will lengthen the school year to six months instead of 10 weeks and make improvements to the curriculum. By mid 1800s, most states will accept that one, schools should be free and supported by taxes. Two, teachers should be trained. Three, children should be required to attend school. But I, but I use the Prussian education system in which teachers are in individual classrooms, students divided by ages, improved textbooks. My main goal is to separate religion from education. I believe education is best powered in schools that embrace all religious. I believe education is best provided in schools that embrace all religious, social, and ethnic backgrounds. I need you, the legislators, to use political influence because we need to understand a smarter community leads to a more efficient community. Dicks of Boston. <laughs> I went to teach Sunday school at a jail and what I saw was horrifying. I saw inmates bound in chains and locked in cages. Children who were accused of minor thefts jailed with adult criminals. I went to find out the conditions were the same in other places too. I visited hundreds of jails and prisons in Massachusetts, some of which just contained people in debt. And since they were in prison, they couldn't repay their debt. So they were in jail for years. What shocked me the most was how the mentally ill were treated in prisons. These insane people were locked away in dirty, crowded prison cells. If they misbehaved, they were whipped or beaten. I and other reformers believe they should be treated with care, not punishment. Only one, there's only one asylum in Massachusetts but it is private, so only wealthy people can afford it. So now, I, Dorothea Dix, go to, to you, the Massachusetts state legislators, and report these awful things that I have seen. You must be horrified. <laughs> and you will quickly vote to make public asylums for the mentally ill. I will now visit other prisons and jails in other states to demand justice too. Later on, those states will also create new public asylums. And by 1887, I will visit other prisons and jails in other states to demand justice too. Those states 
will later on also create new public asylums. Later on, many states will outlaw cruel punishments in prisons and create special justice systems for children. Take documentation, like of yourself talking, like a freaking. The addicts of Boston. How can we start? Dude, I can't say that. Wait, Are you still recording? Okay, just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> 